What up mongrels? Back out. Thank God. Not a push bike to be seen. Um, I'm out here with Johnny Fox. Oh, sorry, Johnny. Can't swear. So, uh, got a hammock in tow and I'm looking forward to it. Got to be a little bit discreet where we're going purely because someone figured out where one of my camps was, which is fine, but they've done a step-by-step -step instruction on how to get there. And it is one of the most secretive little camps known to man. So we're out on the Isle of Wight. Isn't that right, John? That's right. On the Wight. All right. Poor old John's nursing uh, torn, what'd you do? Ligaments. Torn ligaments in his ankle. I'm about 70%. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm at about 70% of what I normally am, which is about 120% of what Johnny is. So, let's see if we can find a spot. just walked in with me patrol pack I thought I'd never have to wear one of them again um, sweating like a nutter we checked out four or five sites uh, lovely sites there are some real nice ones around here but Johnny being Johnny insisted we come to somewhere where we've camped many times before um, purely because he really likes the mosquitoes at the moss holds which would be nice but that'd be nice John wouldn't it I just love getting bitten he loves getting bitten he, he, he can't beat getting sucked <laughs> That's um, true. At least we've got a water source. Yeah. Water so, soy filter, no shortage of cups of coffee. Have you bought coffee? Got coffee. We've got coffee. Um, yeah, a lovely spot. As you can see, I'm going to need to take down the kids' erection. That sounded oh. really bad. I'm going to need to take down the kids' building. I might even cut that out. That was not intentional. Um, but at least that'll give us some firewood. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. We're going to give it a little while till we set up because we're a bit early and I have seen dog walkers here before. Not that they're going to say anything to us because, you know, there's a fat, sweaty, hairy man and a six foot four, limpy, muscly, man. muscly, muscly, you've got legs like spaghetti. Little tiny legs he's got. That's why he went over on his ankle, his little tiny legs. It'd be about 18 stone if he was in proportion, you know, but instead he's about a stone and a half lighter than me. Look at him, see more meat on a suck twiglet. So, while Johnny's preparing the wood for the fire later, I'm gonna whack a brew on. And look, got the Trangia out of my old Swedish army cook's kit. Haven't used this in years. So, let's see if she still works. 
course she's still bleeding works. There's a trangia. They don't die. It's like every baddie in the A-team, mate. Just don't die. Cheap and nasty 10-pound stove. Spark will be that, hopefully. There we go. Anyone I think I've done this crap before, John? You're an expert. Expert? Expert, I think. <laughs> Come on. Yep, she be burning. Couple of temp pegs there so we cup don't fall through. Now, note to self, Jonathan. Don't touch that with your bare hand to the pegs. Why would you do that? Because they, well, I'm a, I'm a bit of a knob. True that, brother, true that. Coffee all right for you, mate? White? All right, coffee all right for you? What you from? White, white? Hey, do you like the merch? Where's that from? Uh, this, this is from S.8.8, oh, fuck it, Safts. Team, I'll put a link in the description below. Merch. You can even get a nice sexy one with my face on it for your wife, missus, girlfriend. Because, you know, nothing oh. makes your wife look better than my mug on her chest. Oh, I see. So that's you on the T-shirt. Yeah, but I know that you oh, get... Oh, I thought it was Zach, um, what's his name? <laughs> Zach of oh, I hope you tread on Lego. <laughs> what Johnny ain't telling you, he gets his wife to wear the vest, but he makes, it wear a, uh, makes her wear it back to front. So he can... Look me in the eye. I ain't getting down. I'm going down on that route. I can't talk today. Oh, and the old trangia's kicking into life. I do like utilising old kit. Get the lid on that. Pop her on there. And we'll wait for the brew. I'm just waffling. That was crap, wasn't it? I'm just waffling shite now, so I'll save me battery. How about that? Oh my god. Before I forget, because I'm gonna hit the rum and coke in a minute, and I'm gonna forget, a massive thank you to everyone that donated and supported me on that bike ride. Um, stupid bleeding idea, don't know why I've done it, but it has raised a bit of money, so thank you very much. I'll leave a link down below, or even up here to the actual trips. I know bike packing ain't a, uh, appealing to a lot of people, but I did bust myself up, so you can have a giggle at that. <coughs> also, a massive thank you to Wild Camping International. Um, they sent me a load of stuff for the people that done it with me to use, like cook's kits and things like that. Um, didn't want to mention, didn't want anything like that, and... You know, that goes a long way. Thank you, guys. Wild Camping International, if I remember, be down below. British company. Um, yeah. Also, although they did do it for recognition and stuff like that, the uh, tent and stuff I got given, brilliant. Served a purpose, didn't have to fork out for it, made the thing happen. In fact, I'm kipping in that thing tonight in a, as a hammock. No idea what it's going to be like. You know I like my hammocks, and you know I think it's too short and all that sort of shizzle. So I'll tell you in the morning how that works. I could well have buggered up though because I've got this poncho type thing that's quilted that someone wanted me to punt. Um, but I want to use it as an underquilt. So I'm making the underquilt here with pennies and a couple of bits of string and a bit of elastic. So I could have a really crap night in a hammock that's no good and an underquilt that keeps me cold. You'll soon find out. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you. Well, Captain International, people that looked after me and supported the charity, dudes, the lot.
Can you see my tent? Yeah. All right, that'll do then. Fuck it, if it don't work, it don't work. Right, today's abode is the nightcap. What is that? Anak tent tarp type thing. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm not punting it. If you want to have a look, review channel up here. Used it, it works. See what it's like on the ground. And over here, we have young Jonathan in a Nobby Clark special. It twisted a bit, is it? I'm trying to use that new gimbal thing, see if it follows me and stuff. Oh, he's following you. He's following me. I, I beg my pardon. Um, yeah, so, there's Johnny, he's got a homemade underquilt. What I want to do tonight is, I've been given something, and I want to make it multi-use. So what I'll do now, in fact, I'll show you it. Not punting it here, I'm using it and explaining it. Oh. <laughs> You're not even going to edit that. No, I'm Play. not. I'll never do. Right. It's a nature hike quilted poncho stroke blanket thing. And as you can see, it ain't that big. So what my thoughts are, I'm going to put it on to start and then explain what I'm going to do with her. And show you how I'll do it. You never know. It might help. Might not. So anyway, the idea is, I'm not going to do the poppers up or out like that. This thing, you can make yourself look like an utter twat. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. What can you say? Decent pockets, blah, blah, blah. Tried it out at home. It's quite warm. My thinking is, when my missus comes camping with me, she can't go, yeah, it might look a bit cold and all that sort of stuff. She can wear this, but it saves me bringing an underquilt. So what I'm going to do, I've got a load of pennies, a couple of bits of uh, braid, and some elastic. I'm gonna put five pennies along there with loops on them, thread the elastic through, do the same at the back, that's getting too hot for me. Do the same at the back and hang it up like an underquilt. Tell you what I did forget though, it won't matter. I forgot carabiners, but I can just look it on the ones I've got. That's the plan, we'll see if it works. While I've still got a bit of light, I'll show you what I mean. This is the the short edge of the, uh, what do you call it, poncho. I made a load of loops here, like so. I've got a load of pennies. I'm gonna put one in each corner. Making this look easy, ain't I, John? Come get through there. I'm a ham-fisted spadoofer. I'll tell you what I'll do next time. I'll, uh, I'll tie the loop before I put the bleeding coin in. How about that? Oh, you spanner. Like so. I'll do that all the way down there, thread a bit of elastic through that, then hang the elastic off my carabiner. I'll show you again, because you know, I made that look too easy. Do another one at this end. Penny, loop. Push the penny through. Probably ain't even filming that, am I? Just in case. Penny. Penny. Loop. Push the penny through. Loop that around in like a prussic. That then will hold it. So now I'm going to do one in the middle and one in the middle of the middle. I ain't going to lie to you. Bit of a faff. If it does work, what I'm going to do is sew little loops on the end of it and then they're constantly there. But as you can see, there's my pennies all through, going up to a bit of string, and that then sits underneath. 
I can spread it out when I get in the hammock and it is very <sighs> stretchy. So fingers crossed that works or I'm having a crap night's kip. But what it does show, if you've got a snuck pack travel blanket or anything like that and you forget your underquilt, you know, there's ways and means of getting around these things, aren't there? Johnny's works a treat and I made that years ago. It's got some DNA on it now, John, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep you updated how that goes because fingers crossed, warm wife, warm kip. Happy days. So we'll just see if this bleeding thing works. Now I know this looks really high. This does stretch a hell of a lot. I won't get right away in on all because I've got my wellies on, I can't be asked taking them off. Don't give weight. That ain't bad coverage, is it? And that is up that side as well. That ain't pretty bad, is it? It's all right. And I can feel the warmth already. It so far, it's a win. I was going to say, it definitely covers the whole of your body. Yeah. And for the price of it, I'll put a link down below if you're interested. Um, they're reversible and crap. They do them in all sorts of colours. I went for the darkest one I could get. It's comfy. It's warm. Have a look. I'll do a review on it on my other channel. But I'll let you know in the morning if it works. I'm a big old fun wave today. Right. Time is nearly upon us to uh, crack a drink and think about getting the fire started because I've got some Cumberland sausage and a couscous. Probably won't eat the couscous. I'm just going to fill me face full of meat. Um, yeah, camp's looking groovy. Haven't seen a soul. Listen to that bird song. The mozzies are about, but who cares? I'm out. Oh, so glad my ribs are getting better. I'm going to get out a lot more now. Basically, I could have had four weeks in the bank of uh, going out and making films. But instead, I laid on the couch moaning, getting right on my wife's nerves. So, uh, there you go. I think I've got a brilliant idea for a challenge next year, though. I'm not going to say nothing, but it is epic. Anyhow, booze. Right then, as you all know, a good test when you're wild camping is make sure you don't get seen. Look at the state of that cat. Johnny will get away with it. I ain't that far away. They do do it in DPM and a dark green, but look at that cat. They've all got the cat. That seriously is an issue for me. I'm glad I'll give it away. Oh. You don't mind the cat, do you? Right. You can see it from up there. What, the actual cat itself? The cat draws your attention to the lime green floating tent. Camp Freddy. Stab it. Oh, you minger. Tell you what, I'm really bloody happy how that's turned out. There you go. 10p and a bit of braid. Oh, and a bit of elastic. There be Johnny pondering in the woods. Right. First attempt at lighting a fire with these things. Let's give it a crack. Do you want a lighter up, John? No, you crack on, mate. I'll just show you how to work, look. You snap them, oh, drop it, because you're a ham-fisted spurdoofa. Give it a little wiggle. Start twisting it like so. And hopefully it'll rip soon and not make me out to be a liar. You can obviously just like that fluffy stuff. 
all I'll rip me off. Put them down. Oh, there we go. Let them catch. I'm a bit of an impatient bugger when it comes to fires. I think it's safe to say they work. So, Bigfoot Bushcraft, thank you very much again, mate. Link, bloody blah. They're all right, them, aren't they? What are you cooking up, John? I've got plant based, um, plant based burgers tonight. Yeah, get out. Do you know what plant-based burgers are? Beef burgers. It says beef burgers, but 0% meat. Alright, Dom. Well, to be fair though, it is less than 5% fat, these ones. A bit like your legs. 137 calories per serving. Yeah, so I'm really healthy tonight. I've... Uh... I've never known anyone to make meat sound of shit. What have you got? Me? Sauce. <laughs> bit of sausage, mate. You just can't get away from sauce, can you? You can't beat your Cumberland, mate. What are you cooking it in? Is that plant-based? Suet. It's suet, yeah, it is. Plant-based, yeah. I've even got a spatula, John. So have I. Is that ready? I'll say so. Well, are you saying so? Or? I'm saying so. Listen with a sizzle. Oh, you little bastard. It's good that you bought your lightweight frying pan with you and all. It's recycled. It's recycled ball. Easy well. for you to say, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, nice muddy sauce. That's proper filthy. Tip plate. Bit of suet. Slap it a bit. <laughs> Sauce. No one likes a dirty one. That's what she said. Don't go near that, Lee. It stinks. I'm worried about your sausage. Hey, good. Look, you sure it's caught fire as usual. No, you shut your ass in my face. Sorry, <laughs> mate. Okay, no. You liked it, didn't you? <laughs> you can be honest. Pups have bought out a spatula, mate. Ooh, a little spatula. A little spatula, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit hard over that side, I think. Not sticky note. Love this titanium plate. You love it? 
I love it, mate, don't I? I'll tell you that, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Boom. Boom, shaka. Hey, have you heard about Jordan? Katie Price? No. She's going to the Olympics. Is it the aquatic team? She, uh, she can't swim a stroke, but she knows every dive in town. <laughs> hey Johnny, I don't know what to do, as I've just said to you, do I whack some couscous on, or take them off, whack them in a roll, and then whack another three sausages on? I know what my favourite I favourite method is. I know what you're going to do. More sauce. <laughs> to be fair, you can't beat a bit of sauce. More sauce it is. Look at you, you little salt. Salt? What are you putting on there, then? Salt. Again. You're such a bully. I told you, Johnny, it's not bullying if you deserve it. Right. Hot, hot. Oh. Okay, only two fit in there. Leave you sizzling away for a bit and get some sauce. Not exactly cordon bleu, but it's meat and a bit of bread. Have it. John Bob was telling me today that uh, he gets quite emotional and jealous when I'm out and about with Martin, especially because he's got a bit of talent and uh, you know, he's, he's afraid he's going to be usurped. So he went out and bought himself a mouth organ. Just so he could lighten the mood. Movement? Mood in camp. Go on, son, hit it. Martin's got nothing on me. <laughs> I'm only joking, Martin. Dry your eyes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> It's similar, mate. It's, it's like it's similar. Here. That is spot on. <laughs> well, it's nearly that time to get in the nightcap. You right there, John? Yeah, mate. Oh, I think so. Right, so been in here for about five minutes now. Um. Ain't a bad space to be, to be honest with you. It's definitely not the most comfortable hammock I've got, but it's not uncomfortable. I can get a night's keeping it. Not a true diagonal lie. You could do with showing something under your knees because you do get a bit of leg lift at the end, but it's still better than kipping on the floor. Um, the undercook so far, yeah, no issues. It's about 11 degrees at the minute, meant to get down to about 10 tonight. Um, it could be a winner. I'll definitely be giving this back to Martin. It's done well though. Make that as you will. <sighs> Got me snug pack. Fucking what is it? Travel blanket. Jungle blanket. Whatever it is. They make good underquilts as well. That's what I was going to do tonight. But I thought. Try that thing. <sighs> Got me down. Blanket underneath me. as a pillar. Because I forgot my pillar. Yeah, just laying here, t-shirt and a light jumper. I do sleep warm. But I am going to try and sleep, so I'll see you in the morning. I can't hear Jory snoring, so I've probably woke him up filming. Morning. Well, I slept right through. Proper good kip. Undercook done its job. Oh. 
I'm not seriously happy with that. You should do the other hammocks for a minute. Now you're level there. That's easy solved. Oh. Yeah. All in all, good job, I'd say. Of that. What's that you got in your hand, mate? A bottle. Your bottle? What yeah. bottle's that? I'm drinking water, am I? <laughs> Bloody cat's gonna give me nightmares. All right, a couple of things I don't like about it. Oh, it is very, very stretchy. Um, yeah, I think they made this hammock out of ball bag skin um it is the stretchiest material known to man but once you're in it you're fine um if i'm using it as a hammock i'd probably ditch the built-in sheet unless i was going on multi-day hikes and that then it's, it it serves its purpose and i'd whack a normal tarp over it because you haven't got a lot of room underneath for your kit and stuff um i mean it serves its purpose I think it would be a bit of a nightmare in the rain, zipping up and stuff like that. But for a multifunctional bit of kit on multi-day hikes, it's a... I'll tell you what, it's really surprised me how comfy that is. Because I didn't have high hopes for it. Oh, Jesus. Carl's not yawning. Anyway, I need to go and empty myself oh there's one oh jesus it's the other thing as well negative it's not negative but it is you don't get the same views as you do i think i said that earlier or last night um but yeah stop talking about it no one cares. No one cares. Ah. Test these things out, John. Yeah. Nobby, they said. How do you keep warm in the morning, they said. I wear my underquilt, I said. My bright blue underquilt. <laughs> Let's get the brew on. Won't get too close because I don't want to melt me jacket that is coming off very shortly because I'm already heating up. Me ancient Trangia. A bush. So we've had our coffee, packed away. No trace left, obviously all that rubbish is coming with us. Fire was behind me. Happy days. Beautiful spot this. If it wasn't for the uncertainty of people coming through, it'd be brilliant, but didn't see anyone. Not a soul. Absolutely stunning. Woke up to the bird song. Lovely, innit? 
Lovely, isn't it, John? <laughs> he didn't sleep too well. I think I might need to make adjustments for his hammock. You know, because he's 18 foot tall. And although he ain't that fat, he does have to carry around at least three stone of idiot. Bully. Huh? Bully. I'm a bully. Bully. Come here and say that. <laughs> Anyhow, probably won't film anything going out because, you know, and if I do get any B-roll, I'll put it in the front because I needed to pad it out to play some music. Didn't need to tell you that. Until next time. Ta-ra.